Hello everyone, today let's take a look on DWG export setup and we will take a look on other things. So in the first video we were talking about the layers and now we will talk about the lines and the patterns. So basically if we go with the patterns you have just some definition to like the patterns inside of the file, how to generate them inside of DWG. Usually I just leave it to automatically generate. The same goes for the lines. You can see here automatically generate line type. I leave this all as it is, but what is important in here is the set line type scale setting, which we will take a look at now. So if I will go in here and I will draw my line, which will be, let's say this hidden line. So it will be a dashed line. You can see that here I have my dashed line and I want to export it. So it will be dashed as well with the same scale. And for this, if we go to our export setup, to our lines, we have the line type scale to be either by the line type definitions. I never use this and you have the model space with the facility scale equals to zero and paper space facility scale equals to one. What this means is that if we go with the facility scale equals to zero, it will set the global scale factor inside of the AutoCAD project based on the scale, which I have now here in my view. So if I will go like this, hit OK. Now you can see I have one to 100 in here. If I go next and I will go with my, let's say one, four. Okay. And I will open it inside of my AutoCAD file. You can see now the line looks exactly the same. And if I will go to my line type settings, Manager, you can see here the global scale factor is set to be 100 and that is because it is being set like from the export because we have set the facility scale to be zero and then the global scale factor is based on the view scale inside of the Revit project. So if I will go now with my Pacella. You can see that the value is zero. Okay. So back to our Revit project. If we go now with the other setting. And we will go with the paper space. So the scale will be one. Now what this means is that the global scale factor will be one and you will be able to scale the things inside of the DWG based on the annotation scale of the view. So I will go with the one five. Okay. Open this. Now you can see that the scale of this line is not correct. If I will zoom it enough, you can see that it is a dashed line, but because of the scale, it is just showing as a solid line. And now if we go into the scale, you can see that it is with the value one. And if I go with my line type manager, you can see that now my global scale factor is set to one. And that means that the scale is being driven by this annotation scale down in here. So if I will go now and let's say I need to create a new one which will be 1 to 100. So one paper unit will be 100 drawing units. Hit OK, hit OK. And I will change this to be 1 to 100. So it will be same as inside of my Revit project. And hit my Regen. Now you can see that the line is the same. So these are the two most important settings when we talk about DWG export 